What up, everyone? We're here with Fifth Period doing a statistics video for Alexis. Woo! Yeah, you're immortalized now. We're also going to go in and give a shout out to Brecklin, Woo! and McKinley, and Hallie, and Cam. Who else wants a shout out? Zegan's name's been shouted out. Who else? Raise your hand. Who wants their name to be shouted out in this video, immortalized forever? Anybody else? Raise your hand. Yeah, I got pointed to you, someone. Stevie, shout out for you. Woo, immortalized. Now when you guys' kids take my class, they're like, my parents' name was like shouted out in that video. Nice. Also, shout out to Harrison, who's helping us. Good job, Harrison. Thanks for taking the test already. On canvas, crazy, you're wearing masks. Okay, so we just did number 17. And um, also number 16, which was uh, rolling five dice. How many different combinations are there? And so six times six times six times six is seven, 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 six. That's the total combinations in the game of Yahtzee. Like one, 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 two, 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 one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Okay, so then also the probability of getting a Yahtzee on your first roll. Because Harrison's like, wait a second, in the game, you, there's more chances than that because you, you got your second roll, you could try again, and your third roll, you could try again. But this is just your first roll. And so you have um, ways to get a Yahtzee. All ones, all twos, all threes, all fours, all fives, all sixes. And so that's six out of seven, seven, six. Okay, here we go. So number 18, name drop cam. Thanks for asking for this tough one. So I think I made it a little bit easier on you guys than I have up here. Is it sum of eight or is it sum of seven on five dice? In the game of Yahtzee, Yahtzee, you roll five dice. How many different ways can you obtain a sum of eight on the five dice? Hint, list them if you need to. Do we say eight? Do you guys remember? Or is it seven? Is it seven, Sydney? Awesome. So we're going to go ahead and um, change this to a seven. Because eight would be so many combinations, I'm telling you right now. You don't even want to list that many. So let's change it to seven. And then, really, I would, I would just list all those ways. Ooh, it's not too bad, I promise. So summing to seven, ready? So we have five dice. So usually I just start with ones. I go one plus one plus one plus one. That's four. And then plus three. That's going to give us seven. So for the test, this is a really good strategy. If you guys want to jot this down, write this down. For number 18 on the test and on the practice test. And then I basically take that three and I rotate it through the ones, right? So I'm going to go ahead and put a three here with some ones and a three here with some ones and a three here with some ones. And a three here with some ones. And so that's five different ways you could sum to seven with five dice, right? Does that make sense so far, you guys? Good. Okay, so what are some more ways to sum to seven that I haven't listed yet? Go ahead, Z again. Ooh, so you have three ones. And then a 2 and a 2 is going to sum to 7, right? Because 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, and then 4, 5, 6, 7. So now you have to rotate all the different combinations of 7. And so I actually had to change this on the practice test with you guys, or maybe it was 8th period, and because I missed a couple ways, actually. So what you're going to do is you're going to rotate this first 2 through. So this 2 is going to go here next, and this 2 is going to stay here. So one, one, two, one, two. Then we're going to rotate this two down to here and keep the two there still. Making sense? Making sense? Then we're going to have the two at the end now with the ones in the middle. So those are, again, are adding up to seven, adding up to seven. Then we've got to bring this first two back across as well. So two, one, one, two, one. Two, one, two, one, one. And then two, two, one, one, one. And so this is five ways here. That's five ways. And then seven ways there. 
And 5 plus 7 is 12 ways, which I thought was the original answer on the practice test. Um, but we're actually missing some ways. So for extra credit, who can see those additional ways we're missing? And since we're talking about a bunch of ones and twos, I'll up it to two extra credit points. Who sees those? So it has to do with the ones and the twos that we're missing. Another, another way or two. This is good. You at home, behind the screen, watching this video, you think about it too. Ooh, Zegan thinks he remembers, can see a way there, which I think is Australian, which is amazing. With your hat. Which tomorrow is Beanie Day, so I just adopted today too. Whoa! Go ahead, Zegan. Ooh, so one, two. One, two, one. That also adds the seven. I forgot to move the twos into the middle position. Right? Two extra credit points, Zegan. So that means that this is also, um, we have to move this two to the center center. So one, one, move this two forward like that. And then let's shift them to the left as well. So one, two, two, one. Whew! I Googled it. That is correct. Is that correct? 15 ways? Oh, no! Is there one more? I'm going to cry if there's one more. The double twos to the other end. Nice. So I feel like I have that way in the beginning, top left. Oh, you do. Is there 16? So there's five ways with a three. That's good. And then with this, the twos, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten is what I'm counting. Hopefully, I googled it and it said 15. Double check, double check. Thanks, Harrison. So I'm hoping, praying that it is going to be 15 ways, right? So it says here, um, how many different ways? When it says ways, it's not talking about a probability, you know, divided by something. Not like divided by 7776. No, no, no. It's just talking about the ways. So it's just going to be just 15 ways. Do not need to divide by 776 on this one because it's not asking for probability, just counting the number of ways. Just like on Sunday, something's coming up. Yeah, look it. Single Awareness Day, remember? <laughs> Let me count the ways. It loves me, it loves me not. It loves me, it loves me not. It loves me, woo! Let me count the ways. So 15 different ways for number 18. Does that make sense, Cam-ish? Kind of crazy? Yeah, but if I um, went ahead and changed this number to maybe one number less, would that make it easier? It would, so there's your hint for the test. Because <laughs> all you'd have is one, 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 two, and that adds up to six, and then just move the two through, you're done. So it'll be easier on the test, I promise. That was pretty intense, pretty awesome though, pretty awesome. Okay, I think we already did these ones with you, but just in case Alexis or anybody else at home needs this. So you guys shout it out. Ready? Everybody! Probability is the art of counting. True or false? True. true. Good. True. And then multiplication is repeated. Addition. Good. If you put add or addition, good. Add or addition, good. And then number 21 um, who wants to uh, be immortalized and say it into the microphone? Say it at the same time. Shout out to both of you, both of you. Say it at the same time. Say it at the same time. Yeah, got it. Oh, say hi to Alexis so we miss you. Bye, we miss you. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Shalom. <laughs> nice. Shout out to Alexis. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> Okay, beautiful. Okay, so what was another one you guys got stuck on? We did 16, 17, and 18, all the way to 21. To make probably easier, we multiply. Go ahead, Sydney. Number 25. 
Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to jump to number, ooh. So we're going to jump to number 25. Um, I can't remember. I feel like, didn't we do, no. I don't think we finished it, though. Did we do some spheres with you last time? Yeah, and we had to choose colored spheres for the lesson. Cool, so let's look at the, let's actually look at it now. So this same, like, thing is going to be used here and here and here and here. So you got to use that same that same phrase of how many spheres there are in your bag for all four problems. So on Canvas, I was able just to repeat it so you knew. Okay, we have a bag containing eight blue spheres, three yellow spheres, nine orange spheres, and five red spheres. So good question, Sydney. So Sydney, did you already get 24, the probability of uh, drawing a blue sphere? And there was eight of them, right? Out of how many total spheres? 25, because 8 and 3 is 11, plus 9 is 20, plus 5, 25, good. So what's the probability of drawing a yellow sphere then? Um, we're putting everything back in for this one. Sorry, that's confusing. So we still have that at 25. So how many yellow spheres are there? There's three. You're fine, you're fine, because it gets confusing with the replacement without replacement, which I didn't really specify on number 24 and 25. Sorry about that. There you go. But 26 does say, what's the probability of drawing a blue sphere, then a yellow sphere without replacement? Who wants to try this one for extra credit? Well, take one at a time. What's the probability of drawing a blue sphere? Good, good. And then, and then, and means what in probability? And means what? Multiply. Good job, Zigan. So, and then, what's the probability of getting a yellow sphere knowing that that first blue sphere is gone? Good. Everybody's awake now. Woo! Three out of 24. That'll just be the answer. You don't have to multiply that through. That'll just be a multiple choice answer on the test or fill in the blank. You can just put the two parentheses together. I feel like that's multiple choice on the practice test, I believe, as well. I believe. I believe I can fly. I can fly. <laughs> okay, what about with replacement? How would this answer change if we said with replacement? Ooh, this 24 would go back up to 25, right? Because then the blue sphere gets thrown back in. So we have um, 8 out of 25. And then we're going to keep it at 3 yellow and then still out of 25 again. Good job. Extra credit cam. Okay, given that you already drew a red sphere, it's probably drawing a blue sphere, which I feel like is kind of very the same thing-ish. So red spheres, there's um, 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 five red spheres. And so five red spheres, knowing that a blue one is gone. So 25 goes down to 24. Is that what you guys got? Maybe? Yeah. No. Oh, what'd you get? <laughs> Three out of 24? Oh, I'm sorry, this is for number 28. How many red spheres are there? Or is this different than your practice test? Maybe I changed it up. I can't remember. Is there five red spheres on your practice test? Five red. And then is the question on number 28, given that you already drew a red sphere? Oh, what's probably drawing a blue sphere? New bald. New bald. Oh, I meant to put one more little line on my five. That's all. There we go. So it's going to be eight, eight blue spheres divided by, and then a red sphere is gone. So now it's the right answer. What would that reduce to for extra credit? Yeah, Cam, extra credit. One third. Good job. So I'll uncircle that just because I'm pretty sure the answer will be eight out of 24 on the test and practice test. I didn't reduce that one. But it's good to remember reducing. Good to remember reducing. Nice. So maybe another question. Should we jump to the difficult one that we gave Harrison? Yeah. So the difficult one that we gave Harrison, and we can come back to the cards in a second, 
is um, large straight. So in the game of Yahtzee, you roll five dice. You can choose to score 40 points on the large straight if you get a large straight. Describe what getting a large straight looks like in a few words or a few examples. So what do you guys think? So what does a large straight even look like with your five dice? Do you remember large straights in order? Do you remember Logan? Do you remember Stevie? Do you remember getting a large straight, Brecklin? What's getting a large straight again? Yeah! And then is there another way you could get a large straight? What's the other way? Nice. Two, three, four, five, six. Good. So then that's just going to be the answer on the test. You can either write that or that or maybe backwards or forwards. I think on the test I specify like, don't mix them up, don't mix them up. Yeah, either, you know, 1, 2, 3, 5 or 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 or 2, 3, 5, 6 or 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 or 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Okay, so then that's going to be on the test. You're going to have to just type in the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and you're done. On the test. Is that right, Harrison? I believe so. Yeah, fill in the blank. And then your favorite, right? Your favorite. <laughs> what is the probability of getting a large, and being the first one to take it today, I'll probably give you two extra credit points. Because I don't want you to miss out on this while you're taking the test. Okay, what is the probability of getting a large straight on the first roll of the game of Yahtzee? So what's the probability of rolling five dice brrr, and getting a large straight? Well, in previous years, I just said two. <laughs> two out of seven, seven, six. And I was like, yeah, that's pretty good. And I'm like, Newbold, you got to stop lying to your students. you got to stop lying to them because that's not really true. So then I looked it up, and it's actually not too bad. But you got to be able to do um, factorials. Eh, not something new. So factorials. So has you, have you heard of where you have a number and an exclamation point in front of it? Does anybody remember that at all? Like this, like this, like this. Like five factorial. Has anybody heard of that? Just raise your hand. One person maybe. All right, well, let me teach it to you. So basically, this is right, this is right. But now for the probability, we got to count all the ways of getting a large straight. Right? And then divide it by 7776. Seven, seven, so let's count all those ways. Let's list them all. You could have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You could have 2, 1, 3, 4, 5. You could have 2, 1, 4, 3. No, don't list them all. It takes so long. So there's a faster way to do that. And let me show it to you. Think about it this way. Ready? Ready? Write this down. This is sick. So getting a large straight. Getting a large straight. How many different possible combinations for just the first die could have been rolled. Now we're just talking about first roll. So first rolled. So we're just talking about one, two, three, four, five right now. This number could be a one or a two or a three or a four or a five. So there's five ways. Then, right, oh, and <laughs> the next roll of the dice, the next roll of the dice rolled. Well, we know that one number is gone, whether it's a 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5. Maybe it's the 1, for example. Then how many dice would be left to choose from if it's going to be a large straight? How many different available numbers are left? Yeah, because one of them has gone, right? It doesn't matter which one. We just know one of them has gone for it to be a large straight. You have to have one number of each dice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, what about the third one? How many dice are left? Three. Then how many are left? Then how many are left? Nice. So even though this looks like 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, I'm actually talking about five different like choices. Of, of numbers, right? Numbers, choices, five different numbers or choices to choose from. So we do five times four is 20, times three is 60, times two is, what's 60 times two? Nice, good job, Cam. So 120 and then times one is still 120. Oh my goodness, you just did five factorial. 
What do you mean? So on your calculator, 5 factorial is basically 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Yeah. It's just a thing that uh, we learn in math. I don't even know if I can find it. I think I could under test. Oh, no, I just saw it. Did you guys see it? So 5. Ready, ready? 5. Uh, I thought I saw it. There it is, number 4. Look, 5 factorial. 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is 120. There it is. Okay, so now we did that with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What about 2, 3, 4, 5, 6? Same thing. Same exact thing. So the first die roll, you have five different choices to choose from. It could be a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, or a 6. And then four choices left, three choices left, two choices left, one choice left. Because this covers everything, right, you guys? Because it could be um, three, four, five, two, six, for example. But once you choose that number, then you have four more choices left, then three more choices left, then two more choices left, then one more choice left. So what is 120 plus 120? 240 is the right answer. Woo! There it is, Harrison. Does that kind of make sense? Make more sense? Sorry, I didn't get to teach it to you. But I'll give you the point back, don't you worry. Awesome. There we go. Beautiful. That was a toughie. That was probably a really tough one that I haven't really showed, um, shown you yet. So thanks for being here today or watching the video. you behind the screen. Yeah, so good question. So you're saying if we did like 10 like this, and then we did the factorial symbol like this? Ooh, that's going to be a huge number, right? 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5. Woo! That's crazy, right? That is crazy. This video is so long. So far, this video is 22 minutes. We should probably stop and start another one. Oh, my goodness. Be right back. Watch you on the next video.